Okay, Bob, thank you. The hot weather forces Baltimore County officials to shut down dozens of schools that are still without air conditioning. WJC Live Complete Coverage continues now. Megan McCorkle explains with heat predicted next week, it could mean more time out of the classroom. Megan. Well, like the school district announced those closures last night as part of a new excessive heat policy. It's the first week of school at Dundalk Elementary, but students aren't in class. The playground deserted. It's very possible school could be closed for the entire week. Hot weather has shut down 37 county schools without air conditioning, and with the heat rising next week, more closures could be coming. Lily Rowe has three children and two nephews in the county school system. It's estimated these kids are going to miss 14 days of school. That is three weeks of school. Just a few weeks ago, the school board passed a policy allowing schools without air conditioning to close when the heat index hits 90 degrees. The AC controversy has led to a war of words amongst leaders. Governor Larry Hogan, who's called for portable AC units, writing today, this is no longer just about air conditioning in schools. This is a public health issue. County leaders call the governor's comments outrageous and say portable units aren't fiscally responsible. We're certainly not going to be bullied by the governor into somehow uh, giving in to his really what I think is an irresponsible demand. The county is speeding up central air construction at schools like Dumbarton Middle with the goal of having AC in all schools by 2019. This should have been taken care of years ago. A dozen of the closed schools are in Senator Johnny Ray Salling's district, which he says is tough on parents. They're going to miss a day of work. The kids are going to miss a day of school. That, we can't have that. Now he wants a solution to keep kids in class. And Senator Salling says he plans to co-sponsor legislation calling for the school year to start after Labor Day. Live in Rogers Forge, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you. And county schools will be seeking a waiver so students don't have to make up days missed for excessive heat.